Hi everyone! In this video, we'll walk through how to set up and sync Google Drive on a Linux VPS using rclone. Fast, reliable, and keeps running. Before we begin, make sure you're already signed in to your Google Drive account in your browser. In this step, we'll check if the SSH command is already available on your system. By default, SSH is built into Windows 10 version 1803 and later. If you see a result like this, it means OpenSSH is already installed by default. Next, we'll connect to our VPS using SSH. Replace the IP address and username with your own VPS credentials. Once you're logged into the VPS, the next step is to install rclone. Before installing anything, let's update the system to make sure all packages are up to date. Next, we'll install the necessary dependencies to download and configure our clone. Now, we'll install our clone on the VPS. This tool will allow us to connect to Google Drive and sync data. Now, we'll configure our clone to connect to Google Drive. Open our clone and create a new remote to link your Google Drive account. Enter a name for your connection. You can choose any name you like. Scroll up to find the Google Drive ID. Leave it blank and press Enter. At this step, you'll be asked to choose the access level. Now copy the link provided by our clone and paste it into your browser. When the browser opens, select the Google account you want to connect with our clone. After selecting your account, click Continue to grant our clone access. When you see the success message, it means the authentication was successful. Now go back to the terminal to complete the setup. And that's it. We've successfully configured the connection between Google Drive and our clone. We'll verify the connection to Google Drive to make sure our clone is configured correctly and working properly. If you see folders listed like this, it means our clone has successfully connected to your Google Drive. Now, we'll mount Google Drive to a folder on the VPS. First, we need to create a directory on the VPS to mount Google Drive to Next, we'll use the rclone mount command to mount Google Drive to the folder we just created on the VPS.
Next, let's try creating and deleting a folder to see if the changes are synced to Google Drive properly. Immediately, you'll see the new folders and files created on the VPS appear on your Google Drive. Now, let's try deleting a folder on the VPS to see if the change syncs immediately to Google Drive. Currently, if you restart your VPS, the Google Drive mount will be lost. To solve this, we will use CronTab to automatically mount Google Drive every time the system restarts. Add the following line at the end of the file to mount Google Drive on Reboot. That's it. We've successfully configured and mounted Google Drive on your VPS and set it up to auto mount on every reboot. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials.